So, how's it going everyone? Hill is here. I did mention in the previous video that I was going to remake the video tutorials of Death Space 1 and 2 Diva builds, but what I didn't mention was that I was going to include as well Death Space 3 Alpha build, so you can consider this a trilogy type tutorial. But before starting the video, everything that you're gonna need is in the video description in which the Diva build of Death Space 1 and 3 already comes decrypted, so you won't need to use the PS3 gen tools to decrypt the files like I did on the Death Space 1 Diva build tutorial. For Death Space 2, you're gonna need to download the files from Jojo Bank's link, and regarding the emulator starting with Xenia, which is the Xbox 360 emulator, you're gonna need to download the December 2020 build, because the newest version by the day of this video is published, causes the debug build to crash oftenly, as well with lots of texture errors on subsection. As for the installation of the PS3 emulator, I'm gonna link the tutorial that I follow personally, in which you're gonna need to follow every step, don't worry, he's going to explain as well on how to add the games in. But if the PlayStation 3 firmware isn't available to download in the official PlayStation website, there's an alternative link in the video description where you can download it. Alright, that was too much for the intro section, so let's get on with the debug builds, shall we? So, that's Space 1. Uh, this is literally my favorite debug build of all three, apart from being the most stable of them, of course. So for this one, you're gonna need the debug build files downloaded and the PS3 emulator installed. When you got the emulator installed, you're gonna need to add the game just like it was shown in the tutorial, uh, where I'm going to provide you with the custom configuration that I, I personally use, but keep in mind that uh, depends on what GPU card you're using, so in my case, I have a RTX 2060 Super Graphics card, in which I can play the game at 60fps without any issues, unless I get into a fight scene where the FPS might drop between 5 or 10 FPS, depends. Also, keep in mind that the audio issue is something of the emulator, so I try to fix it up, doing custom settings on it, but no luck. Once you got the custom configuration similar to mine, or maybe a bit adjusted depending on which GPU you are using, you run the game and wait for it to prepare the files. So when you run it for the first time, it will take some time, but after that it will be faster to start up. But before showing you a little demonstration of what this little bad boy can do, I'll show you on how to install the DLC packs that were provided by the Douglas 414, the man that started this whole debug build situation getting recognized. So. Let's do this. Next up, Death Space 2. For this one, you're gonna need the debug build files from Georgia Banks Link, the December 2020 build of Xenia Emulator, and the X360 CE Virtual Controller software. The only thing that you need to install is the X360 CE, but later on I'm going to explain on how to configure it. And regarding Xenia and the debug build, you're just gonna need to unzip the files for now. 
Xenia doesn't need to be installed, so you can run the game by accessing inside the debug folder and execute this specific file that you're going to see on the screen. And here comes the hard part, so to say, of this tutorial, which personally is quite a pain in the apps. I'll show you through this clip what you're gonna need to do, and if you decide to configure a secondary controller to be the keyboard, then uh, I'm going to show you on the screen which pattern I've used to mimic the PS3 emulator controls and what key they represent. All things done, here's a demo of the Dead Space 2 debug build where you're going to see what changes I've done personally into the dev menu and a bit of gameplay. Keep in mind, these changes are based to my RTX 2060 Super, so if you have a weaker GPU, you might need to change the quality to low and maybe other stuff, so keep in mind that. The last but not least, the Dead Space 3 Alpha build. The process is similar to a Dead Space 1 debug build as this is a PS3 type build, so the only change that you might need to do is to switch the controller's position. Regarding the debug build itself, it's pretty unstable even so with a powerful GPU, so it will be hard to have a stable FPS count, especially during fight moments. I would recommend lowering the quality to low and maybe other configuration as well, but personally I haven't dug that deep into it. What's interesting about this alpha build is that there are a lot of unused audio files that probably were remastered or maybe cut from the final version, possibly from uh, the deadline or internal decisions, who knows. But nonetheless, uh, right now I'm going to provide you a little demo of the debug build with the changes that I do normally and a bit of gameplay. And that will be all for the trilogy tutorial, so thank you guys so much for watching the video, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video, peace out.